Well, greetings, Gemini. Welcome to your horoscope. And I'm happy to say this week there is no Mercury retrograde. Everything's moving forward ahead. And Mercury's in your third house. Makes you extra smart. Makes you extra talkative. Makes you extra curious about gossip and other people's information. And you're likely to, you know, just be on the phone, be answering emails or your FB account or tweeting or whatever the heck you, you Geminis like to do. <laughs> Play games with, with each other. We're sharing a network of games. <laughs> and, um, you know, everyone deserves to have something fun, funny every now and then. So... One thing about, you know, Sun and Virgo, it's more introspective. It's more about your home life. It's about having a good foundation for yourself. It's about paying attention to how you feel. The people that make you feel good, the things around you that make you feel better. Pay attention to those things. And, you know, know that you can have fun, even with your limits. It's a good time to get into three-dimensional art being a teacher, giving guidance and setting rules and boundaries for your children. I, even though you want to be the perpetual teenager, you got to do it. They'll just run all over you otherwise. And hanging out with some unusual friends, some progressive, forward-thinking people. You're trying to bring a, a more healing, kinder element to your workplace. Let's bring it there. <laughs> 